In this video, we're going to look at creating our buzzsaw for our game. Now, a buzzsaw could be something that would be pretty difficult to draw and get a really good looking piece of artwork, even for an experienced artist. So, we're going to take a different method to get there. Now, I just went online and googled buzzsaw blade and found one I liked here. And what we're going to do is create a brush. So, the first thing I'm going to do is grab my magic wand tool going to select all of the white in this group. Then I'm going to hold down shift and select this middle so that I've got that too. Then I'm going to hit control shift I and invert my selection so that now all I've got is this part of the saw blade actually selected. I'm going to go to this uh, lasso tool and I'm going to hold down shift to add the selection and I'm going to get rid of these insets just because they may be there on this real saw blade but I, I think they're distracting for our final bit I'm no, not happy about that I'm going to do that quick And you might have to do this a couple times to get it exactly the way you want it. Alright, so now that we have all of our selections made, I'm going to add another layer. Switch over to my paint bucket tool. And in this case, I'm going to make this completely black. And I'm going to fill this in. and then I'm going to go up to edit define brush preset and we will call this saw blade I'm going to set up a 1024 texture and we're going to come over here and find that we have our saw blade added in and I'm going to size that up a little bit And I'm going to come in and grab a nice nice solid blue here. Actually, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to add a darker blue. I'll show you what I'm up to. And then I'm going to switch over to my hard brush. I'm going to shrink that down a little. I'm just going to eye this up. So I'm just going to eye this up to get it centered, more or less. And I'm going to pick a lighter blue this time. Oops. What I should remember to do is hold down control and click on this so that I don't end up painting in my circle. I just started up. I'm pretty happy with that. Then I'm going to grab my dodge tool here. And real quick. Just going to add a little a little bit of brightness in here and that's not too shabby now we're going to have two different colored blades so I'm also going to come down here and I'm going to choose hue saturation on a level that way I can uh, 
play with what my hue is. And now I have two different blades I can save out without having to recreate another blade. So we're all set. Alright, in our final video I'm going to go ahead and create a simple character for our game and show you how to set that up on our texture sheet. I'll see you in that video.